Hi, I'm Tiffany Domina. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my website is howtoentrepreneur.org and my mission is to help you grow a business from Idea to Enterprise. So if you or someone you know wants to start or grow a business, definitely stop by howtoentrepreneur.org and check out my free course. It's a framework to help you grow a business from idea to enterprise. Today I want to do a review of eVoice and help you decide if this is the best voice over IP small business phone service for you. So if you're looking for a thorough eVoice review, you're in the right place. Here you'll get pros, cons, and alternatives to help you decide if this is the best fit for you. So. There's a sweet spot in business where your service is in high demand and there's a lot of sales potential. That's a good spot to be in, but it's fragile. In that time, you can either absorb all of the potential, make lots of sales, explode your income, scale and grow your business, or you can flop. If you're not careful, it can be pretty easy to flop. You could not respond to phone calls, you could provide bad customer support, you could be irresponsive to feedback, and stay unengaged with your supporters. Then customers will have a bad perception of your brand and maybe even your intentions. I've seen it happen quite a bit where a well-intentioned company turned sour because they didn't plan to have a good communication system in place to carry some of the weight of their growth. That's why I think it's important to have good phones, good answering systems, good CRM, and all of the tools you need to coordinate communication with your team, your vendors, and your customers. So if your communication is bad with a major component of your operations, it can really mess things up for you. eVoice is one such communication solution, so I'm excited to present this review to you. In this eVoice review, I will tell you what it is, how it works, pros and cons, what it does well, and what it does not, what others are saying, both good and bad, my recommendations, and alternatives. And I'll also be showing you how to get started with a demo. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's get started. And if you ever want to skip the remainder of this review and try eVoice out for yourself, just go to the link in the description box below or go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash eVoice. Again, howtoentrepreneur.org slash eVoice and create your free account. So what is eVoice? eVoice is a voice over IP small business phone service. They offer solutions such as a business phone number, a toll free phone number, auto attendant, call queuing, and others. So if you have, um, you have a primary cell phone, you have a primary home phone, and you want to have, add, a, add another line so that you can handle business calls, then this is one way of going about that. You don't actually have to have a hardwired service because of a solution like eVoice. So here's a full breakdown of the features they offer. They offer international numbers, local phone numbers, number porting so you can bring an existing number over to eVoice. They offer toll-free 800 numbers, vanity phone numbers, virtual phone numbers. They have after hours greetings, call blocking, call forwarding, call queuing, call routing, call transfer, call screening, and there's some other great features. I don't want to um, <laughs> just keep listing out the features but definitely they have a lot of top of the line features that are um, really good for the industry so basically it's like if you've heard of a PBX system or you've seen uh, how a lot of companies you'll call them and and they'll have an answer in service that will say press one if you want to speak to press two if you want to speak to you can set all of that up through eVoice. So as a little backstory on eVoice, eVoice is owned by J2 Media Incorporated. They're the brand owners of notable notable brands including eFax, um, OneBox, Campaigner, FuseMail, Keep It Safe, Ziff Davis, Extreme Tech, Geek, 
PC Magazine, Ask Man, and IGN. So G2 Media Inc. started out of frustration in 1994 by a German rock, music, German rock musician named Jay Muller. Jay had a problem sending and receiving faxes while he was on the road, so he decided to make a solution. In partnership with Jack Riley, Jay made a solution to send and receive faxes online. They decided to start a company to offer the online fax service to others, and JFax was born. In 1995 or 1999, JFax went public and the name was changed to J2. The company began branching out into other verticals beyond faxing and today they own several brands including eVoice. So how does eVoice work? So let's say let's use this scenario. You start a business, you've started to do your marketing and sales and you figure out a marketing plan that works. Suddenly you're getting lots of calls and you're a one-man show. You decide you have to make some changes to your communication system because you're not as productive as you like because you're starting work and consistently interrupted by phone calls. You don't feel quite ready to hire someone or you may hire someone in addition to solving this problem. You have more calls than you can answer. Your personal phone calls and business phone calls are getting mixed up. You don't always have time to go back and listen to voicemails, but you want to know what they say. You want to do webinars, demos, and screen share presentations sometimes. You like to have more context, more context before answering a call so you can prioritize based on which calls are most important. You want to be able to answer your business calls from your office or on the go, and you need faxing capabilities. At this point, eVoice offers a potential solution for you. So with eVoice, you would be able to leverage technology which could cut back on labor costs rather than feeling swamped and consistently interrupted with phone calls. eVoice serves as an answering system with the auto attendant. Callers would each be greeted with a custom message you could set that could be spoken by the built-in computer voice or you can hire a professional voiceover artist through eVoice or you can upload audio that you've recorded elsewhere at places like Fiverr. After the personal greeting, customers would be placed on hold where they hear hold music, custom messaging, or a combination that you've recorded. When you answer the phone call, the auto attendant will announce the context of the phone call based on the extension the person selected and you can accept or reject the call based on its importance to your business. So if um, so basically the scenario would go where you would get a phone call and um, the the person on the other end, they would be listening to the music. They would be able to dial which extension they want um, when the auto attendant says press 1 or press 2 or whichever. And then that information would be sent over to you. So that way when you answer the phone, you kind of have context. You know this is a person that's calling about whatever you've set up in the auto um, in the auto attendant system and that can really help you with prioritization and time management because you wouldn't have to answer phone calls that are irrelevant or you could prioritize phone calls based on um, the priority you've set to your business so that's really helpful so how do you get started with eVoice of all the VoIP services I've signed up for which is everyone I've reviewed at How to Entrepreneur and that's quite a few eVoice is the easiest to get started um, so first you would get started by setting up your free trial account and I'll show you how this process works so you follow the prompts to customize your account and eVoice will direct you to set up your preferences like where you like your eVoice number forwarded so you can choose maybe you want your eVoice um, number forwarded to your cell phone or maybe you want it forwarded to a different office phone or something like that you can set all that up and you can choose plans that have multiple users so the eVoice system can forward the number to several different users you can set 
um, different extensions inside of eVoice and then it can send to different extensions. You can do all kinds of customization with the eVoice system. So you can also set up what email you'd like to receive your voicemail. So that's really nice that when you're, um, when people leave voicemails for you, then you don't have to um, actually listen to the voicemails. It'll forward the messages to your email. So if you're in a meeting or something like that, and you don't have the time to break away and actually listen to the voicemail. You can just pick up your phone and check your um, your email and the voicemail can be there for you. So you, you set up where you want those voicemails to be forwarded to. Um, and then you also can set up what scripts you want the auto attendant to say. So eVoice has it where they have their own um, um, narrators um, that can record the audio for you. So you get to choose um, the voice type that you want on your business line and then they'll um, record that for you and the prices are very reasonable and they even give you a trial of that during your trial period so they'll do some of the um, they'll record for you so it's really easy for you to get set up a lot of the other um, a lot of the competitors that offer voice over IP phone services and the auto attendants require that you bring your own audio files or they have um, high prices for the narration in-house. So this is a really good option that eVoice offers. Then you would download the mobile app so you can call out and receive calls on your mobile devices when you've downloaded the mobile apps. As a result, you can seamlessly answer phone calls from any device, whether you're in the office or whether you're on the go. So you can have it forwarded to both your office phone or a landline, and you can also have it forwarded to your cell phone. So then you can make sure to get your business phone calls regardless of where you are, and it'll notify you so you'll know that this is, um, the biz, a business call and it's you won't mix it up between personal and business and then after you've done that you can start to use the system so who is eVoice for? eVoice is for professionals who want to give a good image businesses who are getting very swamped and want to be able to prioritize phone calls those who want to separate their personal communication from business, those who want a simple interface to listen to recorded calls, check voicemails, retranscribe voicemails, and modify their greetings, maybe for sales or otherwise, professionals who want to answer their business calls from their offices and while they're on the go, and those who want features like audio conferencing, web conferencing, screen share, and faxing. So, eVoice tools and training. eVoice has training tutorials. They have a knowledge-based um, style of training and tutorials and they have some videos so you'll be able to set up the system. And as far as their support, I've personally used their support and they have phone, email, and live chat support and they are very responsive. So that's also another benefit. What does eVoice do well? They offer a lot of features. They're affordable. They offer auto receptionists and live receptionists. It's easy to set up. Their um, most voice over IP providers require you hire professional greeters or record the greeting on your own. So it's nice. eVoice offers a computer voice option as well. So you can have the, um, the voice um, the actual voice actresses and you can also or you can um, record it yourself but they have the computer voice that they have isn't um, it's a it's actually a nice voice it's not um, really uh, robotic so that's also an option that's built in and you can use that makes it even more of an affordable phone service provider they have also the professional greeter option and like I said, I have signed up for several different voice over IP phone companies so that I can do these consumer reviews for you. And um, of all of the different phone companies that I've run into so far, the, the professional greeters and the option add-on that they have inside of eVoice is the most affordable. 
they have the user interface that's very easy to use the system sounds very professional um, I had this connected to my cell phone um, and I had several people calling me to see how they thought the system was how how quality it was as an experience for those who are making the call and everyone that called me said it sounded very professional um, and so that's a, a good thing I got a lot of compliments on my e-voice setup and they transcribe the voicemail to email or text so that's also very nice because you would be able to um, read your voicemails or read it as a text message instead of having to go and listen now you have all three options but it's nice to have all of those options and they send the audio files of the recorded calls and voicemails to your email so if you hire people and you have them doing phone sales or you have different a different setup where um, people are making phone calls or even you are trying to improve your own sales skills or your own customer service skills you can go back and listen to the recording of the call you can help to if you have conflict or something like that um, you can go back and listen to the call listen to the recording and see how things went the way that they did and that can help you with ensuring quality um, quality calls and quality customer service so what doesn't eVoice do well? From my experience, the support wasn't knowledgeable. When I called to ask about the phone service features, they put me on hold for a long time. Um, they don't have any plans with unlimited minutes. So that's another thing that you want to be mindful of. All of the plans have spe specified minutes. Um, they don't integrate with CRM. So if you want it, the calling system to integrate with like Salesforce or with another um, CRM system um, Trello or Zendesk or anything like that they don't have those integration options options right now and I personally thought the custom the computer voice sounded fine but other customers said the computer voice sounded robotic to them and they recommended the professional greeting option so the professional greeting is $25 inside of eVoice and that's very affordable um, even in comparison to going to sites like Fiverr you'll find if you want to hire a voice actress that it'll cost more than $25 so they have really good pricing on eVoice but some people will say that it sounds robotic for the computer voice and some people will say it sounds very professional so you'll have a range when it comes to using that computer voice also they don't have an option to buy or rent compatible cloud phones so some uh, voice over IP service providers will have cloud phones that you can plug in so that you can have your office set up and actually use a physical phone instead of your cell phone um, eVoice doesn't have that option where you can buy or rent cloud phones from them so you would have to um, go go somewhere like Amazon and find cloud phones of your own that you could connect to the service also um, so I searched around to have a balanced perspective of the strengths and the limitations so you can know what they are and make a, a valid decision whether this is a good service for you and so some of the common positive feedback about eVoice was that the system works great they had good customer support they're constantly improving the app the features are easy to use it's reliable customer service is great very attractive design employees like it and attractive pricing but uh, the negative feedback was uncommon to find however this is a compilation of the negative feedback that I found um, it said the voicemail transcription isn't always accurate the interface could be more intuitive one customer said that the mobile app uses cell phone service when there's no cell phone coverage it doesn't work so that's something to be mindful of it could have more options and configurations um, some people said they would like to receive paid phone calls 
and that there's no option inside of eVoice to do that and you have to call to cancel and some customer reviews said they had difficulty canceling so from my personal experience the customer support was very responsive to me so if I call or a live chat uh, I didn't have a problem but it would be nice if they had the feature inside of their membership area where you could control your own billing and cancel yourself um, so the most helpful positive eVoice review, this is from a customer at fitsmallbusiness.com or a reviewer that left their um, review at fitsmallbusiness.com and their review, um, it says, what does the company do well? We have a long period using this application. We have found fascinating. Our employees like it and we consider that it has a good price. Uh, when they were asked what does the company not do well they said in all this time we have found some faults but they have been able to resolve and the company behind the program has managed to finish them we are very happy to use this product when they were asked what do you wish you had known about the company before using they said that your company was so diligent with its application there are usually many application whose companies leave them forgotten and do not make any kind of change unlike this one that has been managed to fix that has managed to fix your product but as far as the negative review the most helpful negative eVoice review um, came from a reviewer on virtualphonesystems.com and they said you have to call them up to cancel the account unbelievable and guess what they don't even answer so this person had an experience with trying to call and cancel the account now from my research and looking at the reviews on different third-party sites there was a huge monopoly in favor of eVoice and their service being a great service so um, this was more of an anomaly as far as the pricing the pricing breaks down like their highest plan is their 4,000 minute plan you can have 15 users 45 numbers and unlimited extensions and that plan is $79.99 but their lowest price plan has 300 minutes two users six numbers unlimited extensions and it's $12.99 they also have add-on features like online faxing for $195 a month video conferencing that starts at $9.95 a month for 100 minutes web conferencing is combined with the video conferencing they have call recording and that's $8.95 a month for automated recording and they also have other add-on features that you can check out so I want to show you how it works to create a plan at eVoice and then I'll come back to um, my final opinion of eVoice and then we'll um, talk about some alternatives so let's check out the eVoice site and so when you go to eVoice's website this is what it looks like and so first you'll see um, this page and you can add business phone numbers to any phone for less than 50 cents a day so then you go to start your free trial and they give you the options of starting a 30-day free trial with any of their plans so I would say um, to go with the most popular plan 300 minutes may be doable for some people who don't get a lot of phone calls and the two users and six phone numbers but um, I'm gonna try this one so after you to set up your account you pick your number so you can either choose a local number but some numbers um, don't have an inventory like for example I tried to pick a phone number from my location and they didn't have an inventory of that so so you can see um, San Antonio we only have one zip code and you can see there's no inventory for San Antonio so let's try maybe 
a nearby city and see if we can find a um, an inventory there. So let's go with Austin and see if they have something there. Okay, so they do have an inventory of phone numbers that are Austin phone numbers. So um, you can also do the same thing to choose a toll-free number or to port your existing phone number over. So let's just choose, I'll choose one that seems kind of simple to remember. And I would suggest you doing the same, that you try to choose something that would be easy for you to repeat and that you don't have to um, continuously repeat over and over again. So I'll say this one seems like it'll be pretty simple. Five six six seven six seven two. Okay. Then I'll you enter this information and let me go ahead and create my account and then I'll bring you back along with me. Okay, so I've created my account with eVoice and basically you have to enter your name, email, and then from there it asks for your billing information. So they do want your billing information up front even though you have a 30 day free trial. Then from there it'll give you your phone number, your, um, your password, and it'll say that your account is approved. So this is what the interface looks like when you're getting your account set up. So as you can see, they make it um, really simple to understand. So you can start out with, I want to update my administrator's profile, or I'm ready to set up all of my company's extensions, or you want to skip the setup and do it all by yourself. So let's start with setting up the administrator's profile. Okay, so it's starting out by giving me a greeting. Um, as you can see, when someone calls, they give you the options where you can uh, you can have it where it rings, or there's a personal greeting followed by music on hold, or my personal greeting um, can be recorded, and then the caller hears the music on call on hold. So there, there's call screening. And then you can just you can do um, just hold music or message only, and you can uh, also have it where it says connecting call followed by ringing. So those are the options, and it looks like it's loading the greeting for me. So the um, default greeting says Tiffany Domina is not available at the moment. Sending you to voicemail. Begin speaking at the tone. So, so I'll wait for it to load and then I'll bring you back when it's done loading. Okay, so now you can see the actual user interface where you will be able to look at um, the messages, the call routing, the settings, the usage, the billing, and the phone system manager. So this is where you could also click to call or you can um, do your conference calling. So um, here's where you could also play your voicemails. So as you can see, it's really simple how it's laid out. So you'll be able to see which ones are um, unread or which ones you haven't seen. Um, so this is how you could see your voicemails. As far as your call routing, um, you can set up how your, um, how your incoming calls go out to the different phones that you have set up right here. And then you have the settings. So this helps you to decide 
how uh, the email forwarding is, where the emails are going to be forwarded, where are the voicemails going to go. And if you had the add-on features, um, then you would be able to choose um, how uh, the recorded calls and things like that are going to go out too. So also they have the fax where people can fax your number and you can receive fax messages fax messages through um, eVoice so um, that's another nice feature as well and as far as the greetings this is where all of that could be set up so you have your personal greeting you have your voicemail greeting and you have your your hold music and your recorded name so this is how it sounds. Tiffany Domina is not available at the moment. Sending you to voicemail. Begin speaking at the tone. Tiffany Domina. Okay, and you you would have to set that up. Those are these are just the default um, the default options. Okay, so you can see there's quite a few features that you can set up from here. You also have analytics, so if you have a team, you'll be able to see how the phone system is being used. This is helpful if you have, like, if you if you have a team, this is really helpful. Um, you can use this to track different sales metrics you might have. You can use this to track different support metrics you might have. So this is a good way that you'll have everything centralized and have the data that you need to see what's working and what's not working. And then you have the um, phone system manager where you can control the, the users. Um, you can also add features. So as you can see here, um, this is how you could add on different features that are inside of um, E voice they make it really simple to um, add your features and for the auto attendant this is how you could um, activate the auto attendant and set up your call tree so that um, people can press you know one for new orders or two for check order status and so on and like I was mentioning before they have the video tutorials where you would be able to um, where you would be able to see how to set everything up so um, I won't go into setting up the auto attendant but I have set it up before and it's very easy to do so hopefully this demo was a good walkthrough so you can see how the interface is in my opinion this interface is very nice and simple um, it's easy to use it makes it effective where you can um, manage your own calls or manage the calls of a team you, you have the analytics you have all the data here um, you can record your calls you can receive messages so this is a great communication system that serves a lot of different functions so going back to um, my final opinion of eVoice. I've personally tested out eVoice and I was really impressed. When I had people call my eVoice line, they thought it sounded very professional and would give them a good impression of my company. I think the features and user interface are very easy to use and of all the voice over IP companies I've tried so far, they seem to be the easiest to set up and a low price to get started. Many other companies will require you to fork out additional costs for the voiceover work, while eVoice has the computer voice option that you could use, especially if you're starting out and maybe you want a budget-friendly option. So if you're considering voice over IP, small business phone services, I think you should definitely sign up for the free trial and see how it works out for you. So to sign up for the free trial, you can either stop by this article. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Um, I'll also leave a link where you can 
um, sign up for the free trial in the description box below but you can also go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash evoice and that would ensure that we're compensated for sending you also you get whatever discounts are associated with the referrals that come from how to entrepreneur so the more people we send the more I can negotiate uh, benefits for you as a referral of mine also if you're still in the market for voice over IP or communication solutions these are some different alternatives that I've personally um, signed up for reviewed and I can give you a good um, recommendation so freedom voice is also another option freedom voice offers similar options to uh, to evoice in my opinion evoice is better but you can definitely try them out for yourself and see what you think they have um, similar features but I would say evoice definitely has more features and options and in my opinion the user interface and things like that make it better they're owned by GoDaddy which is a really popular um, hosting company so it's a very popular evoice alternative so definitely check out my review of freedom voice and see how they the pros and cons and how and why I would say evoice is better also um, grasshopper is a comparable service to evoice I personally prefer evoice over them as well but they do have a very nice service and you may want to consider them if you're looking for a voice over IP option you can read my full review with the pros and cons and you'll see why um, I've said that evoice is better in my opinion and then lastly Sasquatch mail so if you need a physical mailing address and you want a second phone line then Sasquatch mail may be a good option for you they offer you a physical mailing address and they actually upload the mail inside of um, a server so you can view your mail from wherever so if you're looking to do the digital nomad laptop lifestyle or you're looking to be able to access your mail without having the paper or um, you travel a lot for various reasons having the virtual office option that Sasquatch Mail has set up may be a good option for you and I have a full review on their service as well with the pros and cons so you can evaluate if that's a good fit for you so that's all I have for this review I'm hoping that it was really helpful for you very thorough for you and gave you um, the answers that you needed to decide whether or not eVoice is a good fit for you if this review was helpful please give a thumbs up to this video also if you have questions or concerns leave your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you and if you want to see more videos and like this where I do product reviews service reviews buyers guides as well as growth strategies and tutorials to help you grow your business from idea to enterprise then subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon where you'll get notifications of upcoming videos also if you're starting or growing a business stop by how to entrepreneur and check out my free e-course it will help you to start or grow your business it's a framework that will give you the idea of how to go from idea to enterprise so that's all I have for this review and I'm really hoping to see you in the next video bye